Good morning from DeRitterRentals.com. Uh, today I'm standing with uh, my JLG T500J lift. Uh, it's been down for uh, a while now. I want to say about uh, three weeks, maybe a month. And the problem that we're having, uh, according to the analyzer, is the power module failure. Um, check power wiring and MOSFET short circuit error nine of nine there's a lot of information about this on the internet uh, or no I take that back there's not a lot there's very scarce information about this on the internet uh, but what little information you find uh, is the error being persistent which uh, in a lot of cases would indicate that you have a, a, a bad contactor, which is here. You may have some bad batteries. You may have a bad battery cable. Uh, on the other side of the machine, you may have a bad power module right here. And a lot of the guys on the internet are saying that the most common break in the battery cable would be this uh, negative cable right here that goes straight to the power module. A lot of guys on the internet have said that that was what they did to fix their problem. But my problem was a little bit different. Uh, it was intermittent. You could turn this lift on and run it for a little while and then it would quit. You have to reset you have to reset it to make it start working again and then it would only run for a little while again before you'd get uh, the nine flashes right here so today I think I think I found the problem and it was over here in this motor that was disconnected to the pump it's very easy to remove uh, it's only you've got to uh, take these two long screws out and this motor slides all the way off and it looks like that when it comes off uh, in this case I'm lucky to have another T500J that I can uh, trade parts on to help diagnose problems but what I ended up finding was this motor that I pulled off was full of this slag and I look on the inside uh, you see those four little contactors right there they actually contact the uh, shaft of the motor and each one of those has so got a little uh, con spring loaded contactor on it and, and they travel with the motor as it's spinning in this can right here um, these contactors compared to the contactors in the motor over here are about a half inch shorter each each okay so we're talking about two inches of overall uh, available diameter uh, you know that can squeeze around that that uh, uh, motor that's coming out of the pump here so I put this on and uh, now I no longer have the intermittent failure I've tried to run this lift uh, several times here this morning and it does nothing but act excellent so after all of this time I believe that I have found the problem with this lift and I'm ready to put it back in service I'm posting this on the internet because I couldn't find anything out there that showed power module failure uh, power module or I'm sorry power module failure power check power wiring and MOSFET short circuit with the uh, with the problem being intermittent uh, failure. So I hope this helps anybody who may have uh, the same problem that I've had.